Hey y'all, it's Andrea Allure and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time, welcome to my channel. And today I have this really cute goddess lock style for you that I installed. So if you want to see how I got this look, keep watching. <music> All right, y'all, I'm jumping right into it. I'm using 30 volume and 40 volume developer to lighten the bundles and also quick blue to um, use as a bleach. And I'm using 30 and 40 because some of the hair that I have um, will be have to be lightened to a color more of like a four and the other is a color more like a 30 for my highlighted locks. So right here I'm showing you the hair that I'm using. Um, I think they're like deep wave or something like that. I don't know, I just had some hair left over in my hair bin and I decided to use that. So I am going to start with um, just weaving my finger in between um, the bundle so that some of the hair can be that 30, and th that 30 volume developer and some will be um, the 40 volume developer so that I can have some dimension since my locks um, are two different colors. So on one side, I'm going to put the 30 and on the other side, I'm going to use the 40. And I don't have like a certain um, ratio that I use. I just look for a consistency that isn't runny and isn't pasty. So pretty much right in the middle. So right here, I'm just um, applying the bleach, the 40 volume on one end, like I said a little earlier, and make sure you get both sides. You don't want it to just be bleached on one side of the hair. You have to flip that hair over so that it's really saturated. And I started with the 40 volume developer because I wanted that to be lighter. So I wanted to leave it on longer. And these are the locks that I were telling you about, the four and the 30. So that's the hair, how it's been lifting and it's pretty darn close. And right here you could see even better. Um, it's not a spot on color, but I must say they blend really, really, really well. And here I'm going to show you guys how I attach those curly ends um, to the lock itself. And right here I just cut off, I would say it's about an inch wide piece off of the weft. Um, not off of the weft, but off the bundle, I guess you could say. Don't cut the hair off the weft, keep it wefted. And this is the hair that I am using right here. It is the springy twist um, hair. Um, by expressions I love their hair so what I do and yes those are chopsticks I had to make me a little makeshift something to keep all of my locks on um, but um, I start with unraveling uh, the lock about halfway down um, because that's where the curly end is going to start so I just cut that bottom half off unravel the lock some and I'm unraveling because I am going to take that little piece of hair that we cut from the weft, from the, excuse me, bundle, and I'm gonna tuck it in between the lock so that it can disguise itself as much as possible. And so when I'm wrapping the hair, the um, springy twist hair, 
it won't, um, the weft won't like poke out. So you wanna really tuck that in as best as you can. And right here, I'm just taking that hair and I'm going to start wrapping it right where the wefted hair and the lock are joined to really keep a secure hold. And I honestly, I wish I would have did this a different way. And I'll talk about that at the end of the video. But um, for now, this is how I wrapped the hair around to attach the curly ends. And make sure you guys wrap it really, really tight because you don't want that hair slipping out. But that's a whole nother story that I'll talk about at the end of the video. So yeah, you guys, you don't have to like wrap all the way up along the lock or all the way down along the curly end, just wrap right where that hair is. And maybe I would say, it, it should probably be maybe like a three inch, um, three inches that you're wrapping. So you don't have to go too high up or too far down when you're wrapping. And you guys just keep wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. And once you're down far enough, wrap your way back up to um, secure that hair. And once it is completely secured like that, I'm rolling it between my hands so that that hair won't be going anywhere. And here's just my pattern that I used. Um, I braided my hair off camera because it would have taken way too long, but I did more of a freestyle part with a defined middle. So really easy. Just braid your hair in plaits and keep it moving. All right, y'all, I am going to start with this very front lock so y'all can see. Uh, I am gonna start with one of my um, dark haired locks in the front. So what I do, I just take the lock, open up that little hole, and I take my crochet needle. And I'm gonna be looking over here. You already know my mirror is over here. I'm gonna look over here, and I am going to put my crochet needle. I can't talk. Put my crochet needle under my braid. Well, in the base of my braid, I should say. Make sure the hook is open. Hook the crochet lock on the needle. Close the eye, pull it through, and then, y'all, I'm lying. I actually want to try it a different way. That's usually how I would do it, but um, I saw this different technique that I wanted to try, so hopefully it works for me. This is going to be the first time I do it, so don't judge me if it don't work out how I want it to. But I saw someone actually start, like, about an inch down on their braid and that's where they connected their lock then you want to just grab one end of the lock pull it through that hole and I'm gonna hold the braid so it doesn't like get all weird and pull it through make it tight so see that thing not moving so and um the person that did it they said that they like to do this because it makes it so that the root isn't as bulky and i think that's smart as hell so i'm gonna try it this time wish me luck y'all i hope it turns out good but that's how i connect the lock itself and then as for the wrapping part i just take not a lot maybe like you already know it comes in sections, so I would say I could probably get like 
maybe four or five sections out of this. Subsections, I guess you would say. So about this big. I am going to now take this part, one end longer than the other, one end much longer than the other, and I am going to crochet this part into the root of my head. I mean the root of my braid, like I originally did with the lock. So you just take that, open up your needle, close it, pull that short side through, and you want it so that one end is longer and one end is shorter like it was originally. The shorter side you're gonna hold down so that it's all in one with your braid and your lock that you already have attached. And you're gonna wanna pinch it right at the base so that you have no type of slippage and you're just gonna wrap that thing around. And I hope I'm close enough for y'all to see. But yeah, I like to wrap it at the base maybe like four or five times just to make sure it's secure. And then once I'm done that, I work my way down the lock. And you just gotta keep wrapping it and 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 wrapping it. Now when you get to where you attached your lock, you wanna make sure you hold that hair, your hair and the lock pretty tight together so that it's just a seamless transition. Damn. I don't know y'all maybe I have to put it a little higher but I'm gonna keep going just to see how I like it and if I don't like it I'm gonna bring the lock up a little higher and attach it cuz I don't like how like skinny it is I don't mind it being skinny but I just don't want the it to be that thin that far down but we're gonna see how it work out locking it I mean wrapping it and then once you get to the end and you see how my hair is still sticking out but I only have a little bit of wrap hair left just gonna get me another piece doesn't have to be as thick as the big the big piece huh it doesn't have to be as thick as the first piece because I'm only trying to cover the hair that I have left so I am going to just connect it, put it like right against it, pinch it with my fingers, and with that first little strand that I had and the new strand, I'm gonna grip them together and keep on wrapping it until I completely cover my hair. And once my hair is covered, um, you can get a little looser with it because I know I want mine to look distressed. If you guys want them to be like neater, you can keep on wrapping it tightly, but I want mine to look really um, natural and like rough. So I'm just doing it a little looser as I go down. And once I got down far, and far, far enough, I started wrapping upwards. And I'm sorry if I'm going too fast, guys. I'm just doing this because I want to see if I want to keep it. Oh, well, you know, it's actually, it's not bad. Like, it looks like, you know, when people get fresh, get their locks freshly um, twisted, their natural locks, that's what it looks like. Hmm. I guess I'll keep it at that spot. But yeah, this is what it looks like, y'all. All right, so I'm gonna do one more for y'all. And then I'm going to go finish my head off camera. This time I'm gonna do a colored piece. 
the blacks and the colors. I'm gonna do a color piece. So, whichever one is first, I think this one is the number four. So I'm going to do the same thing again. All right, y'all, so this is my final product. This is the finished look. Um, it's a few days later, actually, actually a lot of days later. I finished this like four or five days ago, but life was happening. It was my boyfriend's birthday and we like went out and stuff. So now I'm back with the final look. And I must say, I love my locks, guys. All in all, the whole process of um, braiding my hair and attaching them locks took probably like nine hours. It took a really long time. It is a long process, but it was totally worth it. I love how it came out. Hope you guys like it too. But yeah, this is what it's looking like. I did it so that I can do a middle part but I have mostly been wearing it to the side like this just because I like how it looks on me this way more with the side part. So um, if you guys try this at home, please comment below and tell me how it works out for you. Um, I think this just may be my look for like the rest of the year. Maybe not the rest of the year, but I'm definitely gonna keep them in up until my birthday probably which is in november so um i'll tell you guys how it goes and if i decide to um do a touch up on the roots i'll record that for you guys too but for now i am loving it the only one thing i would say that if you guys do it at home and i should have done in the beginning is when i was connecting the um bundle hair to the locks I probably should have either sewn or glued the hair first and then wrapped the hair around because I have been having some slips, unfortunately, but I've just been like reconnecting them and um, wrapping more hair around it. But that has been a little bit of a bummer because I just put them in on like Tuesday and it's only Sunday, so... I have a feeling a lot of them are probably going to slip and I'll have to reattach that hair. But I mean, it's no biggie. It is what it is. But um, if that happens to you guys, if you try this at home and it slips or even before you attach them, when you put the um, bundle hair, when you connect it to the lock, just put like a little hair glue or lace glue or something like that to really stick it together 
and then wrap the hair. Don't just wrap the hair because after a while it loosens up, especially from pulling on your hair and everything and putting it up like I've been styling it. I'm going to do a style video for you guys too, so I'm really excited about that. I've had some really cute styles this week, so um, just make sure you connect it better than I did so you don't have that problem. But anywho, just wanted to come back, show you guys my final look. Let me um, get up a bit so you guys can see how long it is. It's like super duper long. And that's one of the things I love the most about it. It's really long, really sexy, and um, I'm tall as hell. I'm six feet, so if this is coming all the way down to, I'll show you guys in the back. It's coming all the way down, like, to my booty. So, girl, or boy, when y'all put these in, ain't nobody gonna be able to tell y'all nothing. I've been getting so many compliments on them and I don't know, I just love them. I love the whole boho vibe of it all and how I can just get up and go. I do still do my edges, but the good thing about locks is you don't even have to cause like it's such a natural look. So you can get up and go without having your ledges, ledges, ha, huh? edges laid but it definitely does look cuter when you do lay them. So uh, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to show you guys the final product. And if you like this style, if you try this style, please comment below. Make sure you like this video and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed, but why would you not be? Don't make no sense. Make sure you click that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video.